Look at my family. You probably won't recognise me. I'm the bump. Don't mum and dad look happy? Scared, though. Understandable. There's so many decisions to make when you're pregnant. The sad thing is, no one knows which ones are really going to count until it's too late. My parents were the best parents in the whole world. But even they didn't have the benefit of hindsight. Who does? Isn't it funny how one single moment can change your life? One single choice. So, everything seems to be progressing normally at this stage. I'm very happy. I see here you've decided against the home birth. I'm wondering if you've made a decision regarding the collection of cord blood. Yeah, look, I'm just not that totally convinced. There's no family history and honestly, I'm more worried about tangible things. I mean, why get into a sweat over something that may never happen? We hope it doesn't happen. However, as I've explained, collecting your child's cord blood will maximise the treatment options if your child or any member of your family should become ill. Siblings and fathers have a 50-50 chance of a match. And the mother? Even better. Mothers have a 95% chance of a match. It's very simple and safe. And the costs are reasonable. One single choice. How different my life could have been. I can't believe you're using disposables. Mum. Bill. What's that? Is that a bruise? Don't be ridiculous. Babies don't get bruises. It is a bruise. You're just being fussy. Sometimes, in all the fuss, it's easy to miss the little things. Doesn't mean they don't count. So, as you can see, I was very well loved. When I turned five, Mum and Dad threw me a huge birthday party. I got a Barbie, a My Little Pony and plenty of clothes. Oh, and I also got something else. Something none of us expected. Mr Robinson, yes. Millie's thrown up for me too many lollies. She's all right. It's just the excitement of the day. Come on, Mi Millie. John, call an ambulance. The treatments for terminal illnesses are getting better every year. But there's still some of us who don't make it. It's actually worse than we thought. She's the top of the one held up well from now. We can sell a few minutes straight away. She might need a bone marrow transplant later. Well, let's hope they plan to install the cord blood. Finding a match in the public system is a challenge. Stem cells can best be thought of as body repair kits. They can grow into liver cells, lung, heart, kidney or bone cells, essentially any cell in the body. Cord blood is rich with stem cells and it can only be collected at the time of birth. So you're not going to store the cord blood then? No, we're not. Well, the final thing today Yes, is... we are. Yes, we will be storing the cord blood. We've set up a fund so our daughter can go to uni. That's great, but it's no good to her if she's not here. This is a one-off. Our baby's only shot. I hope we don't need it, but what if we do? Isn't it funny how one single moment can change your life? One single choice. One in three men and one in four women will be affected by cancer in their lifetime, and strokes affect nearly 50,000 Australians every year. There are currently 84 diseases that utilise stem cells in their treatment therapy or clinical trials. Stem Life is Queensland's only private cord blood bank, owned and backed by obstetricians. Book with Stem Life before it's too late.